It's 1977. I'm a movie usher. I love it. Three years into it, I never dreamed it was gonna end this way. Back up! Oh, what the fuck? Back up! No, dude, hope that... Back up! Okay, 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 okay. Put the money in the bag! <clears throat> money in the bag, Blondie! Hey, calm down, man. There's more in the other drawer! No, there isn't! I've seen it! Hey, she said that's it. Back off, you know? Uh, that's all the the curtain's back. closing is what we'd say when you knew the B actor was gonna die. At that moment, I knew the curtain was coming down on my story. You've heard the old adage that your life flashes before your eyes when you're about to die? It's true. Beaten down, stripped away. It's fair to say that I had a few obstacles to overcome. I didn't have much luck with the girls. I wasn't the most athletic guy in my class, although my best friend, Marty, was. Marty was a year older. He drove this bitchin' 69 Roadrunner. Marty loved hanging at the drive-in. I loved the movies. I just turned 16. Things had to get better, but how? The force. I needed money so I could get a car, but I wasn't gonna rob any banks. For a moment I thought we were in trouble. Yeah. Three of those girls are high. Two of them are seniors, but I don't recognize the young one. But I know who she was. Janice. Yeah, I needed a car. A really cool car. So we're gonna start you off at $1.50 an hour. Movies for you and a friend are free. Movies for your entire family are free as well. All right, popcorn's free, pop's free too. You gotta to bring that glass from home inventory thing. All right, now I know you got a lot of questions. So what I want you to do is I want you to come in tomorrow night, learn the ropes from a more experienced employee. All right, so you come in tomorrow night and I'm gonna have you follow assistant manager Tim. You two are going to spend more time together than Sheriff Barton, the Waco kid. What? Blazing Saddles! For some reason, Bud, the manager, and I hit it off right away. Um, okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then, Bud. Okay, Sean. You're going to love the movie business, Sean. Good looking kid. A job at the theater, just what I needed. Up yours, Marty. Just over a year later, Tim quit and I got promoted to assistant manager. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service. Marty and I were still best friends. In fact, as we matured, we found out we had even more in common. Being assistant manager at the Six is pretty awesome. <coughs> Y'all bet. You didn't even think I could hire. Yeah.
they pushed me up to two bucks an hour. Yeah. Which now that I'm paying for gas and insurance, since the extra cash is crucial for the weed. <clears throat> I've actually been meaning to ask you. You think you could get me on? Because working at the Colonel, man, it just, it, it sucks. <clears throat> What? Godfather, the entire all my friends, start my own family. Everything's a movie reference with you, man. Godfather Part 2's playing. All right, I gotta head inside. 9.30 crowd's gonna start showing up. Later. Now that I could pay for gas and insurance, my dad bought me a 63 Biscayne. Not the coolest car. And to tell you the truth, it was a piece of junk. It wasn't long after I got Marty hired that Jaws came out. We're gonna need a bigger lobby. What? Bigger lobby, bigger boat. Come on. Uh-oh. What? Guy in the gray suit. Where? There. It was crazy, but what I remember most was my first encounter with Mr. Baxter. It's Baxter. Whoa. I wanna talk to you, Francis. Yes, sir. Francis? All right, you two, let's get this lobby cleaned up. Man, Baxter looks like he could take you guys' head off. I'd blow that SOB up before he had the chance. <laughs> Pop one. Janice and I became friends. Sort of. We worked the same shifts almost every week, including Mondays, Bud's night off. So I was in charge. But everything about her still intimidated me. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, not really. Why not? You know. Do I? Well, uh, I guess I'm just waiting for the right girl. The right girl. Yeah, well, I, I just want somebody who likes me for who I am, not what I have, or don't have. Hey, Janice. Marty. Well, Janice looks hot tonight. Shut up. What? Doesn't he? Well, yeah, but I don't want you looking at her like that. Oh, I can't help it. Stop it. Settle down. I'm just messing with you. Well, yeah, well, well, what? Oh, yeah. Nothing. Well, I think you should go for it. <sighs> well, that movie sucks. Mahogany? Damn straight. What can I get you? Uh, let's see here. I'll do a Coke and, uh... No dubs. Buck fifty. These feel a little light. Oh, let me see them. <clears throat> Bro, yeah, sometimes they come that way. Sorry. We'll make it up later. On Bud's night off, I did the bank deposit. Janice said she wanted to learn how. I knew Bud wouldn't mind, and, well. Wow, Alan dog day afternoon, and it was still slow tonight. <laughs> I was bored out of my mind. Frank will probably think we stole the money. What? Attica, Attica! <laughs> You're funny. Really? Really. Uh, I should. I don't know why you held it back. Don't know why you'd 
Yeah. I trust you, Sean. You do? I mean, you don't always have to prove it. Prove what? I'm just saying you don't have to be so respectful. Okay. Really? Really. Do you like being assistant manager? It's not bad, as long as I don't have to deal with Baxter. I figure it'll look good on my resume if I get a real job in the business world. What do you want to be? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe an accountant? I want to be a doctor. A doctor? I don't know any lady doctors. Don't be a chauvinist. Oh, like Walter Eberhardt? Not me. Who? Step for wives. Got it. Not many people would. A doctor. Mm -hmm. I have a 4.0 and I'm already taking college classes. Wow. I didn't know you were a brainiac too. I'm not a brainiac. I just don't see any reason to brag about being smart. What do you mean by two? Well, I didn't know somebody so awesome could be smart, too. You think I'm awesome? Yeah, I always have. You're pretty awesome, too. We finally have what we've been waiting for. Ah! See? Her expression! Her expression, look! Look! The chief put his hand up! The meeting was adjourned and the vote was closed. Ah, oh, come on. You're not gonna say that now. You're not gonna say that now. You're gonna pull that hen house shit now. When the vote, the chief just voted it was 10 to 9. Now, I want that television set turned on right now! Then there was the Sunday morning Christmas brunch that Baxter had catered in. Strictly cheese and crackers. A what a joke. Bud seemed pretty proud of himself. I think he liked showing me off. So you're Steve Davis. Heard a lot about you. It's Sean. Sean Davis. Right, Steve. So I'm glad you finally got to meet me. That's Sean. Right, Sean. So, uh, here's you know, a little brunch I bought for you, okay? What an arrogant prick. Did he mention my Corvette? Why would he? No, but he called me Steve. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, maybe he was stoned. As I started my freshman college year, Baxter needed someone to cover as the manager at the six, while Bud helped open the new eightplex. Finally, a chance to make some real cash. All right, so like and it was cool for a change to be top dog. Right, so I'm gonna have you follow Marty here. Looking good, bud. Running good too. Listen to these pipes. Awesome. <laughs> right on. Everything cool here? Oh, yeah. I'm just showing Scott around. You Scott? headed to the eight? Heading back to the eight. Thought I'd take her out for a spin. Oh, yeah. How's it going? 
Uh, I don't know what Baxter's thinking. I don't think we're ever gonna fill eight theaters. All right, call me if you need anything. All right. That could be you. Or me. I could handle 17 credit hours at the U while working 60 plus hours. I was 18, I could do anything. Mr. Davis, there's a tampon on the toilet. Let's go. Right. Is it safe? No, it's not safe. It's very dangerous. That hurt? Uh-huh. No. I should think it would. You should take better care of your teeth. Do you have a, a ca quite a cavity here? Is it safe? Look, I tell you, I can't do it. To say Janice was unhappy with the situation would be an understatement. You're late. <laughs> Again. I was with Headley, you know how he can be. <laughs> Sorry! Where are we going to go? Tuesday night suck. Come on, it's my only night off. We're meeting the guys at the bar where the bouncer let you in. Not again this week. Oh, like you don't take cruising in the Camaro? Sean, the car is nice. We never get time alone. I think you're taking this way too seriously. Well, I'm thinking about cutting back on some classes. What? You know, maybe down to six or nine hours. I meant you're taking being a manager too seriously. Before you know it, you won't be taking any classes. So? What about your real job in the business world? Ah, I feel like Dustin in the dentist chair. <laughs> Movie references? Really? Uh, hey, give me a break. You want a break? Fine. Go to the bar and meet the guys. Sean! Do you want to be like Bud in 20 years? Oh, but what the hell's wrong with Bud? He loves his job and he's pretty damn good at it too. Not, not, not to mention the frickin' Corvette. You know I like Bud, but he lives in a trailer, Sean. See ya. Don't... Sean! Don't... I totally blew it with Janice. I kept trying. I said I was sorry, but she wanted nothing to do with me. Worst of all, she was right. I didn't drop any classes, but I struggled. A's turned to B's, then C's. I couldn't do it all. You wanna quit? No, sir, it's just the number of hours have interfered with my studies more than I thought they would. Well, since the trial period is over, I'm willing to take your salary from 150 to 250 a week. I figured he'd tempt me with money, but Twice as much? As long as you take it as a permanent position. Sir, it, it's not about the money. I, I wasn't expecting a permanent position. You should be. And what about Bud? Francis. Let me worry about Francis. S sir, it's in my best interest if I am just assistant manager here at the Six. You'd be a fool not to take this offer. Mr. Baxter, th the hours are too long. They're interfering with my studies. You must understand the importance of a college education in today's world. D D Mr. Baxter, I I've made a lot of mistakes, sir, but not graduating from college when I've had the opportunity is not going to be one of them. I'm requesting a return to assistant manager with the same wages prior to our uh, experiment. I will continue to work as hard as ever. You know, over the years, I've hired hundreds of kids to work for me. And I consider very carefully who I choose to be a manager. I let the managers pick whoever they want for their assistance, but when it comes to the managers, I am the one that makes the decision. I gave you this opportunity because I know this is the job that you were meant for. You love this work. So what is it, Sean? Work too hard, hours too long. 
miss getting high with your friends every night, or is it, is it the girl? Sean, some of us were meant to work in the movie business. It's in your blood. I know, it's in my blood too. You're not going down to assistant manager. You think you can find something better? You think you can find something more fulfilling? Then you quit. I finished that semester, but decided to take the next one off to manage the six exclusively. Who was right? Janice or Baxter? Could I make a difference? Really do something? Or was managing a movie theater what I was meant to do? I needed some time to clear my head. <laughs> Two more months was all it took. When Bud came back to the six, he talked Baxter into letting me go back to assistant manager. Bud even scheduled Janice and I for his Monday night off, but it wasn't the same. Want to stick around and help me count tonight? You should probably ask one of the other girls. Nah, they're not as smart as you. Nice try, Sean. Well, so much for filling the gaps. What? Uh, Rocky and Adrian, they're feeling unfulfilled and... Never mind. Back up! Oh, what the fuck? Back up! No, dude, no, dude. Back up! It's okay, okay, okay. Put the money in the bag! Money in the bag, Blondie! Hey, calm down, man. I know, oh, guns are dangerous, hey, but I must Back admit, there's something about having one pointed at your head that focuses your thinking. <laughs> Don't touch me! So I've learned something important. Part of becoming a man is realizing that an idea can be a good one, even if your girlfriend thought of it. Well, that's it. My last shift of the six. Francis. Very funny. You know I hate that name. Oh, lighten up, Francis. It's not that bad. You know, Baxter will let you come back anytime you want. <clears throat> that's right. You're killing me. Yeah, well, bigger and better things. Right. So you start your new job next week? Yep. Security International. Perfect for a uh, criminal justice major, huh? You've come a long way in three years, Sean. Ain't that the truth. I'm going to miss you. Uh, I'll be back in the next couple weeks. I want to see the new Lucas movie. Science fiction comic book bullshit. What the hell's the force? Looks like fun to me. I'll see you then. I'll be here. Good looking guy. I think he could have made it in the movie business. Oh, damn. Yo, Janice! <laughs> I love you, Sean. Oh, I love you! So I guess the curtain hasn't closed on my story. Maybe I'm not the B actor. Hey, there might even be a sequel.
with cats to make up for what I didn't say Hoping it'll be okay, oh, and only get angry After I count to ten and I'll fall in love again, oh And I'll be satisfied with the same old goals in life But to make it something I wanted Curtain closes.